Welcome to the MediSafe demonstration of the Micromedical Microloop Mark 8 spirometer. The Microloop spirometer is a handheld, full functioning spirometer. It's very lightweight and versatile. The on and off key is on the front here, so I just switch it on. Now I'm going to use it from the docking cradle. The cradle can be used to upload the results into the computer, and you can store just over 2,000 patients in the memory of the device. And you can see it's come up with a, a screen, now it's a touch screen, so if I just remove the stylus, and I'm just going to go for a forced spirometry test. So I'll just click on forced. It's asking me to enter the patient details into the device to get the predicted values. So I'll just put mine in. So height. And we're going to put the weight in. Now you enter the weight because it gives you the, the BMI score for the patient. You don't actually have to enter it if you don't want to. And the factor at the bottom is to do with the ethnic correction. So we just press OK when we're happy. And it will then come up on the screen. Now you can see there's a, a grey area on the screen there. And that's the predicted area for my lung function based on the details that I've entered. So if I pop in a disposable mouthpiece, I'll just do a quick test. So you can see on the screen as you're doing the test that the graph comes up in real time and it's a good quality check of the test. It also tells you at the top of the screen whether it's a good test or bad test basically so you can repeat it and reject it if the patient's had a poor effort. And we get on there an FEV1, an FVC and a peak flow just to quickly look at. And the options down the bottom are again reject, done or results. Now we want to do really the best of three tests so we get the best from the patient. So I'm just going to press done to do another one. So again, the predicted graph's there, but now we've also got my original best graph on there. So as I do a new test, it will overlay it on the top. So you can see the graph's come up, and uh, it's pretty reproducible graph. It should have overlaid it over the top. You can see it's quite good. Quality checks come up again three parameters but now we get a variation as a percentage on there and that's good you need to get it within five percent basically for a reproducible spirometry test from a patient and when we're happy we can just say done if we want to now you're supposed to do the best of three tests and it's recommended by the BTS the British Thoracic Society and you can see that this has just come up with a warning saying I haven't done three tests do I want to continue well yes I do wish to continue so what it's going to do now, it's put my tests on the screen here, and it's picked the best one for us. And we've got the parameters listed down here, and then predicted over here, and it will show us the percentage of predicted achieved. And will also, at the bottom, interpret the test for us. So it will say normal spirometry, obstructive, or restrictive, and this is as per the NICE guidelines in the UK. And what we can then say is done. And we then get options to do post-tests, so reversibility testing if you want to. But mainly you'll just save it at this point, exit, and then you're ready to move on to do a new test. Now if you'd like further information on the Microloop, just contact MediSafe.